Russia has 11 World Cup host cities, but I've decided to come to Rostov for a very good reason. It's twinned with Glasgow. Hi guys, this is Frank Penn FM, and today we continue our Board of FM series. It has been absolute ages since the last episode on this. We haven't picked a Russian team, and obviously they are the host nation of the World Cup, so we will have a wee look at FC Rostov. They are pretty much the underdogs in the Russian Premier League. Very sort of expectation of a mid-table team, obviously, behind the likes of the Moscow teams and Zenit. They're very, you know, good at the moment in terms of the last couple of years. They have had European football. They are moving in, well, they've already moved into it, I believe, but they obviously start the game they will be moving into that beautiful stadium that you ha guys have seen at the World Cup not much in terms of achievements obviously as I said the Moscow's and the Zenit's and I think Ansi's obviously when they had money getting pumped into them were kind of taking the headlines away from them they are known as the tough guys they do have a bit of a reputation in terms of their fans, obviously, the city, where they're from. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know too much in terms of that. I don't want to obviously disrespect their fans by making out that they're something they're not. I really don't know that side of things, but this would be an absolute challenge, I think. Uh, really, the point of the save would be to establish them, They're, as I said, they have had European football. Bring glory days to the club. We're going to have a wee couple look at their, their sort of key players as well. They do have some very decent players, especially the, the Icelandic guys that they have uh, playing for the national team. Uh, a couple of experienced players, but really what you're wanting to do in this save is build them, possibly make a dynasty in the Russian Premier League and obviously the Russian Premier League is pretty decent enough that you could possibly do that. In terms of finances they're not that great compared to other clubs and that's obviously adds to the challenge. Certainly I feel this would be a great save for anyone looking for something a wee bit different. I've personally never played in the Russian League so I can't give you the sort of best advice um, but as I said you're really looking to dominate Russian football and there's a lot of good teams there that you will be up against it and it will be very challenging. In terms of obviously the older facilities, it's pretty much average apart from their stadium. So you'll be looking to build them up too. Other than that, I mean, yeah, well, team cohesion's obviously, I just took over, so uh, not great. But everything seems to be decent in terms of the actual team look at some of their yeah as I was saying they have some experienced players and you're probably looking at a, probably a mid table finish if you're keeping your players but it really it's up to you and it really depends on you what you do with the team so definitely something to build on if you are up for the challenge <laughs> Rostov number 9 is amazing and the Rostov number 12 is terrible and he keeps kind of uh, putting him through a goal and he keeps missing so tension's building in this stand. So that's what it guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. Certainly keep uh, sending me suggestions, I'll have a look at a few other teams. I probably will be continuing this till FM19. It's great to have this back, I have really enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you soon.